In this video, we're going to talk about a question that I get asked uh, quite often in my job. Is why doesn't my signal generator's output voltage match what I'm seeing on my scope? Why is it wrong? Well, there's really two very common answers. Um, and one is that, you know, a lot of times uh, if somebody is new to using a scope, they might have the vertical scale, especially the probe attenuation, set wrong on the scope. And, uh, you know, a lot of scopes will set this automatically for you. If we take a look up at this scope here, um, you know, this particular scope here uh, will ask you when you uh, press channel 1 what the probe attenuation is that you're using. Um, some scopes will automatically detect a probe, this one won't, so you've got to make sure that's right. And that's uh, the most common reason why the amplitude would be off if um, you're off by a factor of 10 or 100. The second most common reason for the amplitude to be off is due to the output impedance of the signal generator. Most signal generators, function generators, have got a 50 ohm output impedance, which means that it kind of looks like an ideal source followed by a 50 ohm resistor. And generally when you're setting the amplitude, the generator is making the assumption that you're loading you know, at the output, you're loading it with a 50 ohm load. And if you don't load with a 50 ohm load, then the output voltage won't be the same because the generator has no idea. You can think of it as this kind of pretty simple circuit here, a simple voltage divider. When you, I tell this function generator I want to put out you know, one volt peak to peak at the load, it's assuming that that load is 50 ohms. So if I've got a 50 ohms here and 50 ohms here to create one volt peak to peak here, it has to put two volts peak to peak there. So the most common thing that you'd see is that I set the output to one volt peak to peak, but I'm reading two volts peak to peak. And that's because oftentimes the load impedance might be a very high impedance and therefore this voltage divider works out where there's very little voltage dropped across the 50 ohm resistor and it's all dropped here and you're seeing almost the open circuit voltage of the generator. So I'll show you what that looks like on the equipment. So here's an example where we have a 1 megahertz sine wave set up out of the function generator at uh, 1 volt peak to peak. So if we simply connect this directly up to the scope. Take a look at what the scope is showing me. So if we look at the scope we're seeing you know our 1 megahertz signal 500 millivolts per division and if we look carefully I can see I've got four divisions so that's two volts peak to peak. And again that's because the scope is presenting a high impedance uh, to the function generator and therefore that voltage divider isn't what the function generator assumed when you set up the voltage. So the way to correct that would be to use a 50 ohm terminator or through terminator. So something like this this one here, it's just a coaxial through terminator. And we can connect that up to the end of the coax and uh, put that into the scope. All right, and now we get our correct one volt peak to peak. But uh, you know, in many cases, using a one ohm, or excuse me, a, a through terminator is not practical, or maybe you don't have one. Uh, in those cases, uh, many times, the function generator can help you out. You can actually tell the function generator what the load impedance is. Let's take a look at that. On this particular function generator, if we go to the top menu and go to the output menu down here, we have the option of specifying what the load impedance is. So if I select load impedance, we have the choice of selecting 50 ohms or we can dial in a specific load if we knew it was you know 70 ohms or 120 ohms or whatever the load is we can put that in there or we can dial in just high Z. You know, if you've got a load impedance that's a couple of orders of magnitude greater than 50 ohms high Z will be accurate enough uh, to give you that correct result. So now by selecting that high Z let's go back to our amplitude control and we can see the amplitude has now been jumped to 2 volts peak to peak because it knows that 2 volts peak to peak is, is what we're going to wind up with in that high impedance load. Now if we look back up at the uh, scope screen, okay, we've got the same situation that we had before. It's 2 volts peak to peak, but now it does match what the function generator was giving us in its display. But that is the most common reason why the function generator output amplitude may not match what you set it to. 
you just have to be careful of the load impedance, both what the generator is expecting and what your load is presenting and make sure they match. And then the amplitude should match as well. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.